Hi hey guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modelling Bench and just got back from Telford about an hour ago taking Jess out for a walk and uh, giving her some food and everything she's been left on her own today for about seven hours bad, bad, bad anyway, um, my mother offered to come and stay with her and I said, no, that's right, mum, you stay home and I thought, you know, what a stupid idiot I've been at Telford all day looking at my watch, looking at my watch thinking, I better get home, better get home, better get home I should have had my mum come and stay with her I wouldn't have worried then I could have stayed there all bloody night Anyway, went up to Telford today, um, had a great time, met a lot of really lovely people, those that spoke to me. It was great to speak to you, it was great to meet you and thank you so much for your support. Um, saw quite a few people sort of looking at me and like, is it, is it, is that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is me. And a few people said I look, I look taller than they imagined. I can't, can't believe that. I'm only, what am I, 5'11"? Um, Anyway, there we go. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd put together a, a quick video and um, just say thanks to the people I saw. Show you a couple of things I pick up at the show, show you my haul. As you know, we all go to the show and we spend a fortune, don't we? We get some big stuff and that. So, um, yeah, first of all, we got this here. Some Alclad uh, Aqua Gloss, which is amazing stuff. Um, <coughs> yeah, still got this bloody cough. Um, Alclad Aqua Gloss. Amazing stuff. Now in a glass bottle. Apparently the um, they found the plastic bottles were shrinking or something. So they all come in these smaller glass bottles now. So I don't know if it'll last longer or whatever. I don't know. Um, went to Premium Hobbies. Saw Ed. Um, met Ed for the first time. I <laughs> Funny story. When I first met Premium Hobbies, they were at the Western Supermare show uh, back in 2018. And... Basically, um, said hello, what a lovely stand, great range of paints you've got here, and you know, blah, 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 blah. And then Ed got in touch with me and said, you know, if I send you some samples and stuff, would you like to do reviews on them and sort of promote them for me? And he's got all his, you know, as you know, I now promote premium hobbies all the time. Don't forget, if you want to buy stuff for premium hobbies, NMB10, Nigel's Modeling Bench 10, gets you 10% off. And um, yeah, so that's that. So all these years, what's it, three years, I've been emailing and messaging and everything with um, with Ed and uh, thinking I'm talking to a guy who's in his 50s, you know, and blah, 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 and do this, that, and you know, I've bought a lot of stuff off of lately. And um, I got there today and there's the, the guy there in his 50s serving someone, so I just stood waiting and this young lad came over and he said, oh, hello, nice, nice to see you. I said, uh, I'm surprised you recognise me. And he said, well, I've watched a few of your videos, like, you know, <laughs> I said, all right, have you? Okay. Anyway, I said, I'm waiting to speak to Ed. And he said, I'm Ed. Oh, <laughs> so Ed's a young lad. Ed is like a young lad. Um, got a great business mind on him because he's grown this business out of nothing into something that's doing really, really well. So, um, and if you are around tomorrow night on Scaly Models live chat on, um, or live stream, should I say, on YouTube, eight o'clock tomorrow night, eight o'clock Sunday night, that is, he's going to be doing a, um, a site visit to Premium Hobby. So you can look on there and see what sort of stuff's available. And uh, yeah, so went to Premium Hobbies and I got some 150 grit zebra sticks and some 220 grit zebra sticks. These things are amazing. You, can that side down. you see me use them all the time. Um, these are the big, big, large white ones. And then here, this is the other one, uh, Matador 400 uh, sticks. These are the ones I use a hell of a lot as well. So absolutely amazing. I love the zebra sticks. Um, they tend to wear down. They sort of, the 220 grit, you know, it kind of, once you've had like an hour as you were, or 30 minutes use out, that's a lot of sand in 30 minutes use. It sort of becomes like a 400 grit, if you like, or a 360 grit or something, but then it stays. So I mean, I've got these here, which I've been using for absolutely yonks. And that 220 grit, you can see it's all got creases and everything in it. Um, it's still great for rough sanding, um, but it's not gonna be as rough as these are. So got some new ones anyway, so that's all good. And, uh, oh, got always get a big kit, don't we? There it is. Nothing. I went to Telford today, and Ed, out of the kindness of his heart, gave me these. So, thank you very much, Ed. He gave me these standards for nothing. I bought that. So, I went to Telford today and spent £4. And if you go in tomorrow, um, you need your little card thing, your little vaccine pass that you get, or whatever, you, whatever you've got, something to prove that you either don't need a vaccine, you can't have a vaccine, or you've had your vaccines. Um, you don't need the boosters, just the two. If you haven't got proof of that, they won't let you in. And then you pre-book online, and you get a, a, um, a dot matrix code come up on your phone, and you can use that to go in. I just walked straight in. So I needn't have bloody, I was gonna not book, 
and then I was going to pre-book when I was there because I thought there's no point in paying for it, getting up there and finding out you can't get in. So I, I wish I hadn't know because I just got in for nothing. I could have just walked in for nothing. <coughs> so anyway, sorry about that. Excuse me. Um, also saw another couple of things here. Qatari had a stand. Qatari models, you know, the ones I talked about before. These are all the guys from all the guys from Wingnut Wings there. And I was hoping Richard was going to be there, but he wasn't. But you can see here we've got a CAD model of their, their new Spitfire's um, cockpit. And then over here we've got a exploded view of it. So it looks like it's going to be a very nice kit. It, looks like it won't have an engine, but we've got um, alternate sp um, prop and spinner. Um, it looks like we've got an option for a, a closed or an open canopy. The antenna there, oh, we've got a different antenna. Um, it looks like we've got separate control surfaces. I can't see if we've got separate flaps, but if you have a look at that there, you can see there's the exploded view. You can pause that now if you want and uh, you can see. But um, have a look at their website. It's there. Okay, say hello to Richard, and uh, and there we go. You can have a look at all the keep updated on that. It's due for um, I think it's late twenty two or is it mid twenty two? Well, I, I did hear somewhere. It's, I think it's mid twenty two. I also saw this company here, EBMA. Never heard of them before, but they had a nice little. Um, they do all this sort of stuff. It seems everyone's doing this sort of stuff now. But they had some nice little um, jigs there. Have a look at them. So there we go. So the other thing, I've got some photos for you, and. Uh, so I've got some photos of, today seemed to be Junkers 88 day. It was, everybody seemed to have a Junkers 88 on their stand. A 30 second scale Ravel one, which was nice to see because I've got about four of them, I think, or three of them. And uh, I love them to bits. Um, so I'm looking over at my computer screen because I've got the photos, photographs on the computer screen. And what I'll do is I'll put together a montage now with some music. And um, you can just have a look through the photos. And then at the end of it, for a big special treat, we've got border models. Uh, Lancaster sprues test shots so there's only was it three sprues and a wing section but I'll also I'll show you the sprues and then I'll do some zoomed in sections um, and you can look at those as well just over some music and uh, yeah it looks really really nice there's a bit of flash there there's some sinkage um, but these are test shots so I'm sure the I mean that BF 109 that I've got from this is, is there's no shrinkage or anything on that it's, it's, it's gorgeous um, but yeah it's, it seems a lot of it has been kind of simplified when you see it. Obviously, we've got the moulded in seat belts, but they do look very nice, I must be honest. Uh, we've got the moulded in seat belts, but also it's like the, the map buckets, the map buckets, the map pockets down the side of the pilot's chair, the pilot's seat. They're sort of moulded as well as in the side panel as well. But you can see that there's separate framework for that sort of pedestal that the pilot sits up on. But anyway, I'll get the photos up now and you can have a look at the models. And um, there's some beautiful B-52s. Uh, Liberators, there's um, one of my favourite airplanes of all time, the uh, Fokker Wolf 189. I absolutely love that, it's a HPH model. It's something I must get actually and do one day. There was a beautiful B1 there, 48 scale, got some pictures of that, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and basically, yeah, there's some beautiful Russian arm. <laughs> I'll tell you something funny. Um, <laughs> there's this stand with all these Russian, Russian uh, vehicles on. And um, sort of two or three guys sat there, you know, and I felt like a complete and utter asshole. I, I, they must have thought, prick. Um, I said, so uh, which one of you guys has built the Russian ones, the Russian models? And then I looked down and their um, SIG was the Russian AFV SIG. Prick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, I had a good old chat with them. This was nice. As I say, a lot of people recognise me. A lot of people said hello and um, really, really nice to see you. So. Anyway, have a look at these photos and I'll come back at the end and just say goodbye.
so there you go um hope you enjoyed those pictures the border models sprues um as i say they do look lovely unfortunately this everything today was a little bit difficult to photograph especially if it had something behind it this horrible lighting that put like a double shadow on everything when i was on the um when i was on the premium hobby stand i looked and i thought they were doing this sort of set of micro snips or something and it was like a it was a pack of these which is double width okay so there's you can imagine four of those there with one hole in the center hanging on a metal rod so the metal rod would be sticking out like this and the lights um formed a shadow so you had like this kind of two shadows are coming from it and i thought it was like a pair of micro snips or something on a, you know on a cardboard backing but it wasn't it was the shadow and everything you look at had this sort of double shadow coming off it so what you can see on the sprues that are unfortunately they were um cable tied to wooden boards so i couldn't actually pick them up but um yeah you've got this double shadow behind which makes them look a bit blurry but sort of squeak your eyes and look a bit closer and, you, and you'll see it looks a lot better but um yeah i um I'm really looking forward to getting that kit and the, um, and you can see you know from those photographs the bomb floor everything about it looks better than hk models i gotta be honest um but it should be it's a lot more money isn't it uh in fact it's nearly twice as much um but anyway there we go um one other thing i've noticed about the border models length so we need to keep an eye on uh if you remember i spoke before about the the armor the, the armoured plate that sits behind the engineer, not the not the armoured plate on the pilot seat, but there's a big thick glass or acrylic armoured plate that sits up on the um, cowling uh, behind where the engineer sits. And in the border models CAD images, that is actually moulded in grey. Well, on the CAD images, it looks solid grey. Uh, so we may be finding that in the kit, that is actually a grey piece of plastic. In fact, I'll have another look at these sprues. You might see it on there. Um, and also the Astrodome. Um, if you look at their CAD images, it looks like they've moulded the Astrodome in grey as well. So it'll be interesting to see what they've done there. Uh, hopefully somebody's told them, a, oh, no, 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 no. because um, <laughs> I thought, no, there's no way they're going to do that. And then I looked at that BF109 I've got, the G6, and they've actually, in that, they've got you've got the two pieces of glass in the gun, gun aiming equipment, and they're actually grey plastic. So, I don't know. We shall see, but can't wait to get one. I really can't wait to get one. So well, there we go. Anyway, I'll see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, as I said, if you want to see any more close-up pictures of any areas of those sprues, just you know, drop a comment down below, and I'll put some photo. I'll add some photos to it or whatever, um, or I'll add them to another video. So I'll uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.